I thought you said you weren't going to do any more Steven Crowder stuff. Well, I was here. My only enemy is time. Crime almost always pays. Now it puts you in the grave, and no one else could save you. I need like three more of these. Let's do it. What is this? Second Amendment protects your rights to own a A lot of people say if the Second Amendment um, were written today would be different because they didn't take into account, for example, firearms that might have had higher capacity or uh, were more effective. Do you have any answers for, for those folks? Yeah. Do you remember they had 10-shot muskets? Remember the muskets they used back then? Well, yeah. Not I, quite. Well, no, I remember they also had the, the pepper box revolver, right? They did. The, puck, and, the puckle they did gun, have, they have the Girondoni air rifle. See, the, the deal was you have a right to defend yourself. Right. Whatever you have a right. So the biggest weapon in that day would have been a cannon. Yes. Hands down, cannon. You're allowed as a citizen to own cannons. Yes, That's that was the, the letter of uh, Mark and Reprisal to, uh, um, was it from... from uh, well, the, you have Madison, you have all the... As a matter of fact... Yeah, was, Ma was it Madison? Well, when you go back in state laws, state laws provide for it. So the founding right. fathers talked about it because you know, what they did was said, hey, don't set your cannon off within a mile of town. We're tired of town getting blown up. Right. You know, is, but you can have a cannon. You, whatever, whatever the government had, you could have. Right. And that was the belief because we might have to take on the government someday. We hope that never happens. But in case it does... We defend ourselves from anything that comes after us, whether it's from foreign or domestic, whether it's a gang, whether it's a government, whether it's... I'm sorry. That that line of thinking always goes right up until somebody you disagree with has the right to have a bunch of guns. All right. I'm not defending Koresh. But I don't think that they would have given two dicky slits of a slight if they had a, no guns up there. Um, they still might have fucked him over. I'm not saying they wouldn't. And, but they wouldn't have done it because like the, the child bride shit that was going on, which don't get me wrong, was completely fucked. But all those people died. Like that is a waste of human potential, 100%. Um, people get out of cults, you know? It's not fair that they got a death sentence because Koresh got crazy pills. Again, a crazy uncle, right. we don't care. So for them, there was no limitation on what you could use or how you could defend yourself. So they were so, okay with cannons, they're though. Okay with cannons, and that was the that would be our equivalent of high capacity magazines or machine guns or anything It'd be equivalent else. Equivalent to a tank. It could be equivalent to a tank. So I love that Stephen Crowder gets to talk. Like Steve, again, I want to point out. I, I think I'm I'm going to go further into the Stephen Crowder mentality because Crowder's just a fucking bully. Like he's one of these guys that I went to high school with that would just be like it, it was him and three friends and he would just pick on whoever was in the room looking awkward and that was their entire gag and it's like if you didn't go along with it you were like you weren't you didn't get the joke you weren't you weren't having it you, you know what i mean um i have this weird feeling that if this old boomer motherfucker had thrown up some shade at crowder about his stupid ass fucking outfit that he's wearing um he probably would have maybe i don't know bullied him back a little bit um, but it had been between men and that's acceptable um yeah i don't know like i think a lot of the people that imagine these right winger incel troll type people to be not jockey chad bros but like they oop, they get all their cues from them like, these guys get these argument t uh, strategies all from Crowder. They get all their talking points from Crowder or Ben Shapiro. So then they look down like this, and they're talking like this. About this. And I really can't do it. Like, I think, um, uh, 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 Ali, is his name Ollie? I don't give a shit. Philosophy tube guy, um, Holly. He, uh, uh, famously recently did an episode where he was, like, uh, taking on the affect of a Ben Shapiro and I can't I can't I'm I'm more inclined to do I'm much more inclined to do the uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh uh, you know, uh, the problem with the, you know like that kind of thing because that's easy to for me to get to you can think about it for a while because you just <coughs> you just seem baffled by anything new or different it's I just be the opposite of who I am um, yeah, but Ben Shapiro has the affect of this of this very specific type of bully that I had. Oh, if it isn't my favorite personification of death, the dead bird skeleton. What are you doing in town, dead bird skeleton? What's that? 
Oh, you're here to tell me all about how you should like and subscribe to this video because if I get more engagement, I'll be happy. Even a thumbs down helps, you fucking assholes. And uh, Ben Shapiro's younger than me, but he would have been of the age where, like, he would have been in junior high uh, when I was graduating, maybe, or, like, getting into college the first round. Like, in, I don't know how old he is. If he's five or six years older or younger than me, which I don't think he is, um, he's, he's, I know for a fact what this demo is, right? And he also knows what this demo is. Um, because in the 90s, we went way out of our way to pretend that PC culture, uh, like politically correct culture, was a joke and it was ruining comedy. When it's not true, you just, your comedy, like, I don't know, like, I feel like there may have been some of these instances where uh, organizations like GLAAD would get onto Eminem or people like that. Um, in hindsight, yeah, there's a lot of fucked up shit that happened to gay people. I feel like I would uh, rattle the cages myself. I think it's a little disingenuous to assume that people rattling the cages are doing it just to fuck over other people. I guess that's the revelation here, right? Like, I guess that's the revelation that frustrates me the most, is that people legitimately think that Mexicans are showing up to inconvenience them. Does that, do you see what I'm saying? I feel like at the end of the day, <clears throat> people don't care. And then people who are actually affected by this in that they don't make as much money or whatever, or they make money on detention centers, concentration camps. I'm not putting air quotes around concentration camps. There's a guy who suggested these concentration camps and then owns the comp like to the government and then sold the government his he's basically the monorail guy from the fucking Simpsons Sorry Marge the mob has smo has, sp has spoken Monorail Monorail Mexican concentration camps they're all a bunch of these, they're all hucksters and shit, man. And Crowder uh, will scream to the hills that he's not a part of the blah, blah, blah. But he is a full-on Nazi. Uh, yeah, he might as well be wearing two blindfolds because he is not seeing anything. Uh, nah, I don't know. He's just a bad person. You know what I mean? Like, fundamentally, Steven Crowder and people who behave in the manner that he behaves are bad people. Like, he's not using this instinct to bully for good. Like, say what you want about... I always go back to Kill Tony. Because Kill Tony is about as raunchy as humor as I think that you're allowed to do. And it comes from the roast mentality. And I am not saying there's no place for a roast. They're usually called a roast. And the thing is... Like a roast, it's like dominatrix sex or like a rape fetish. Everyone needs to be on board or it's not any fun. And everyone needs to be on board properly. Uh, that Trump roast is a fire of garbage. Holy shit. But, um, so when, t when like, when Tony Hinchcliffe calls somebody a, a weird looking motherfucker, you know, like he makes it a joke but he's in a space where that is acceptable to do so. Steven Crowder just walks into public and just starts looking around and goes, Ah, uh, you, you're complaining about feminism. I think uh, you look like a weirdo lesbian. Or he like full on wears a, a, a comical Chinese, like he did a full on Fu Manchu-ish joke with no irony whatsoever. fucking ever. Like, you, do people realize that they're, you have to. Whatever. Steven Crowder is a, is a bad person. Uh, I'm, I'm, he uses comedy as a shield for his pathetic bullying of people that he punches down at. Like, I want you to think of the last boxing match that ended with one boxer knocking the other onto his back and then just repeatedly punching him in the face downwards. They don't, it's not like a, yeah, it's not really a thing that people want to watch. And yet people love Crowder for this shit. Uh, pe by people, I mean monster, asshole, dickwads. Uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Crowder, get out of here. What are you watching this for? Oh, my God. I love that. I, I really want people to try to gotcha me. 
because the volume of things that they're going to be able to gotcha me on is going to be it's it's so much it's going to be so dense it's going to be such a waste of their time but yeah i think crowder should be deplatformed uh by the government like seriously like i seriously think he should have all of his equipment taken away you know like when people do too much hacking and then they're like physically taking their stuff away and they cannot be around a computer or they go to federal pound me in the ass prison uh, that's why I want Crowder. That's why I want to happen to Crowder. I really do. I, I think he's that toxic to the discourse. Uh, like this Dilly guy, y you cannot justify uh, lying to win your argument and to defeat your enemy uh, unless you're the villain. And then, yeah, then lying's right on the table. Red Skull lies all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sure, if you're a villain, yeah, dude, you're right. You are playing by those rules. But thankfully, because of guys like Dilly, guys that don't get the script and they say something out loud like, I will lie, I will spread fake news, my audience is receiving fake news, it so obviously deflates everyone else who's like him. And they're all the same. They're this. They're this. This is not different. I want to point out what I am making is currently not different and it was never intended to be different, but at least my opinions aren't as toxic and I am legitimately trying to break YouTube. Um, I, I hope that that doesn't come back to haunt me, but um, at one point, uh, yeah, if there's anything I'm going to learn from the Wreck-It Ralph sequel, uh, Ralph breaks the internet, is if you replicate yourself enough times, you could take over the internet. <laughs> And it's going to be slow going, but I've uh, these these right let right wing media ones. I usually do have about ten minutes of ranting about each one. I notice, and they usually wrap up right. I usually run out of things to say right around ten minutes. So this is this is actually the perfect venue for these. And editing them was a dick of a bitch. Because see, I try to actually do comedic timing and pacing, and I try to make the episode feel like it's got a cohesive thing to it and everything. Like we all learn something at the end of it. These, though, I love these to be chaotic. I want them to have so many random parts to them that maybe part of it is a recipe, and they don't even know that in the middle of it, I also de offend, or, uh, uh, defend abortion while defend uh, uh, chastising the death penalty. Which is definitely an argument I've gotten into in real life in an Applebee's? It was a Chili's or an Applebee's, but yeah, I did actually. I have a long history of arguing with right-wing assholes, and you know what? There's never any point. I just get mad, and then we don't talk, so. I've learned all by the hard way that these people are worthless to discuss anything with. Yay! Move, bovine. Tongue and slap your brains out trying to get to 